This is Dollar Bill with Hot Rod Madness. I'm out at the air show today and I ran up on Kent Peach. Right. Mr. Peach definitely has the madness because he takes that plane behind him and lands it on top of his motorhome. How did you come up with the idea to do that? Well, I, it was me and some friends. I, I do three different acts in the show. I do one where the airplane kind of falls apart, the aileron falls off, tires fall off and that. And I've been doing that since 1974. I also do another act where I shut the engine off at 6,000 feet high and do aerobatics down to the ground. And then I have the announcer hold his hand out and I coast to a stop and put the spinner here, the prop, in his hand. I uh, was looking for something new to do, and in 2001, the friends of mine, were, I was out at Big Sky, and we were talking about it over up here, of course, and uh, thinking about what something new we could do, and nobody lands on top of a Class C RV, and I used the RV to get higher so people could see it, and so we decided to do it. But if you really want to know the whole story about it, we came up with a plan that during that time they had Megatrons, and that they were using Megatrons for advertising the shows at the show so more people could see what's going on in the airplane and that. So we were going to have the announcer go back into the, uh, one moment, the helicopter go by here in Rome, Georgia, at the uh, Wings Over North Georgia air show here. Uh, anyhow, uh, we were going to have the RV drive into the uh, parking lot and Clark, and Clark Griswold get out and from my family vacation and the announcer is going to ask different people what they were coming to the show for like they'd have an electrician or a doctor then they'd come up on Clark and he would come up and say well I'm here you know on the way to Wally World to come see the show well then I would come in and, and lose my aileron like I do in one of my acts and then the announcer would tell me to leave and after I'd leave the tires would fall off and I'd have nowhere to land and we we're going to use this RV to land on and Clark was going to come out of the crowd and come save the day. That was the short version of it all. But anyhow, uh, that was how we got started on it. But what happened was then the next year I was flying an air show in Abbotsford, uh, British Columbia and this RV here was for sale so I bought it. A guy by the name of Les Knight at K-Line Trailers built he owned the company, but he built it in his own garage at home. They racked it on top in three days. And the at the end of the week, I flew it in the show at Abbotsford and landed on it for the first time. Well, that was a heck of an idea. Yeah, it, it was fun. It, and everything comes up over a beer, if you Well, it comes up over an idea, <laughs> what am I going to do next kind of thing. And, and of course, it, gets, it expands your horizons a little bit. Having fun with friends. Yep, yeah. nothing beats it. No. Well, I must take my hat off to you, sir, Thank because you. I've tried doing the same thing on a flight simulator, and I've yet to been able to land on top of it. So <laughs> it's not as easy as it might look. Uh, the different wind conditions make it harder, and uh, uh, it's a uh, pretty neat show they're doing there. Uh, different wind conditions, uh, you can't get it on there because it's got such a slab side on the side of the RV. The wind hits it and goes 90 degrees up and I can't get the wing down and there's not enough aileron control to get it down so if I can't get it direct into the wind sometimes I just can't make it. I got about eight inches on each side of the, of the uh, wheels to be able to get it centered and land it on and run it up into the wheel. Well, I wish we were able to see you do it today but I know you'll be busy the rest of the day and you'll be out here doing it this yeah, week. I did it, I did it right, right away this morning already. Oh, you missed it, and I'll do it again tomorrow. Well, I, I won't be able to make it, but I want everybody else to make sure they no, get a absolutely. chance to come it's out a, and a see you weekend. do it. It's a beautiful weekend here, and there's a lot of action going on around out here, and uh, they got airplanes from all over the country here. It's one of the bigger shows I've been at, and I've done 26 this year around the country. Busy man. It's a good one. Well, good welcome show. to Georgia. Hope you Thanks. enjoy yourself. Good to be back. Thank you.